Okay, guys, welcome back. Uh, thanks for the comments on my last video, and I've uh, taken some of your advice, and I'm going to try out a couple things with this solar-powered uh, Bedini SSG, and I'm running it off a 15-watt solar panel, and that's the only power source is that solar panel. And the suggestion was take the energy um, on the back of the Bedini and uh, use it to make some kind of torque. Either put it in a Newman motor that makes torque or try something that makes torque. So I got it in a fan. And um, this was one uh, suggestion. The other thing was a great big capacitor, which I don't have, but I'm still using that one there. But I think you're right. A bigger capacitor, a bigger bank of capacitors would help. And then the other suggestion was a store, store the energy in a battery. So I've kind of implemented all three um, words of wisdom on this experiment. Let me turn it on and show you how it works. Okay, there's the uh, voltage coming in from the solar panel. Now I'll turn the motor on here. Okay, now I'm going to turn the fan on. There's the fan going. Now the motor's going. Okay, now this is the this is the amperage coming into the system from the solar panel. That's where the solar panel is sitting right now. Now I've also got a battery here that's being charged at the same time. Now I had to use a smaller voltage battery to get any kind of a charge on the thing. I couldn't use 12. I couldn't even use 10. It had to be a lower amount to get anything to go into that. But then on the other side here, I found out that I can take a 12-volt lead acid and hook it up. And because the panel was designed for a 12-volt system, this worked also. Now you can see it's, it's drawing more current from that solar panel now. And this is sitting at 12.9. And there it goes on up to 13, 13.1. And that's energy going into this. So I'm pulling off energy from that panel more than before and it's going into that battery there now the other thing is the motor is still doing its thing with my little generator circuit right here and I'm also charging up this battery here it's not a lot that goes in there but it does charge that battery up so I've got charging going on there I've got charging going on there I've got charging going on there and I'm staying cool and this was the neatest thing, was to be able to actually drive a load um, at the same time you're charging stuff up. And I don't know uh, whether this, if you add up all the different amps and voltages and draws and everything else and joules and coulombs, what you're getting out of this, but it sure is interesting to see all this work together. And um, like I say, there's the amount of energy coming in, 620 milliamps and it's holding this voltage here right now at this battery. This will climb and you'd really have to have a uh, controller on that to not overcharge that 12 volt battery. But uh, anyway this was a neat experiment that I, I really enjoyed and this was a solar panel I got on eBay to replace the one that I broke uh, last year. It was on my sailboat and it supplied uh, energy for lighting and stuff. But anyway now I got a fan. <laughs> That's kinda cool. So I can sit here and be nice and cool with the fan while the solar panel charges up my battery. Very cool.